Hi, today we're going to go over the proper way to end calls. You'll see now that we're on the action screen and we have already completed the job physically and I have done a uh, work order debrief and now we need to go to complete visit job. Now what complete visit job does is it will, as soon as you're done and you click save on the screen, it will uh, clock your time in. So this is when your time for the job starts, I mean ends. So when the job starts is when you click on arrived on site and then complete visit job will end that clock, okay? So we're gonna click on complete visit job because we're done because we wanna get a end time. So you're gonna see order status. We're gonna go to work complete. Now, if you are coming back for the call or if you did a parts order, it will automatically have requires revisit if you did a parts order. For this sake, we're gonna say that it's work complete. Um, the order status in this section should either be work complete or requires revisit. If you select something else, it will tell you uh, that you can't do that. The reason why we have these other options in here is because those are service max only options and we're not able to take them out. So just ignore them and only use work complete or requires revisit. So again, the job is complete. We don't have a revisit reason because we are not requiring uh, revisit. If we were requiring revisit, then we could put in a reason like, you know, parts required, different technician, additional time required. Most of the time, you're just going to be using parts required in the revisit reason. So we'll go back to work complete. And now you're going to need a completion code. We'll use the completion code ready to bill because we're ready to bill this. And now we're going to hit save. Now remember, as soon as we hit save here, this is going to stop the clock. If you think you have something else to do, I would go up to the upper left-hand corner and click on cancel and do not save this. Once you save this, the only other thing you can do is generate the service report. So please make sure any parts, any um, work performed, uh, creating a parts order, all those things need to be done before you click the save button because this is the end. Okay, it is not when they get the signature. That's on the next screen I'm going to show you. This right here, when I click save, this is the end of the work order. That's, we now have it, now we have an end time. And as soon as this blue bar fills up, the end time will be in here and it will send that data to our server. And everybody will see the end time instantly. So wait for that to fill up. Again, definitely wait for this to fill up. You gotta make sure this is a integral part of the process that um, definitely needs to be saved and wait for the screen to refresh afterwards. And we'll wait for the refresh view. Okay, now we're good to go. So now we go to actions, you're gonna see generate service report. That's the only thing you can do. Now, a lot of questions I get asked about is, hey, I gotta work on three different work orders at the same place for different pieces of equipment. What should I do? I don't want to go and ask the go find the manager three separate times because most of the time I can only I can't even find the guy once. So to that I say, you can leave it here in this status, okay? And then if you want to, you can go to recent items or you can go to calendar. You can go anywhere you want. Click on something on the bottom and go somewhere else, and then you can come back in. But if you leave it in this status, you've already completed a job. You have a start and end time. That's fine. All you need is generate service report. So if you want to leave multiple, um, if you want to do another work order and then leave that work order in the same status, you could have multiple work orders in this exact same status that you see here. You could have three of them. Now you got to remember to go back to them. And that's where recent comes into play. Recent items down there, that's a good place to find work orders you've just worked on. Um, also, the calendar, obviously, is a place to always go find them. But just make sure, you know, if you're going to be doing this, you got to be a little organized and you have to make sure that um, you know which other work orders you need to close off. Because, again, you get you finally got the manager over there. You got to make sure um, that you're all set to go. So what you can do is, at this point, you can generate the service report and get a signature. And, again, 
I, I will switch, switch this to uh, landscape mode, as you can see. And you'll see that done up in the upper right hand corner is grayed out. That's because you have not gotten the signature yet. Please hit tap to sign and then we'll sign it and hit done. And now we have a signature and you'll see that this done over here, you have to do as well. So as soon as I click this, it says the smart document has been to the server. This will be available in the attached attachment section when it is synchronized. So now we're gonna go back to uh, portrait view and wait for the work order to finish. And now when this bar fills up, now we're going, it's going to attach the generated service report. And we're also gonna have that start and end time, which the end time was generated from the complete visit job section. And the start time obviously was com uh, completed by the arrive time or arrival action, whatever you want to look at. So now we look at actions, everything's grayed out. That's perfect because that's the way it's supposed to be. And then we can go to attach documents and you can see this document in here. This is what you just created. It's just asking me what I wanted to use to open it. Most of you guys are already gonna have PDFs opened with uh, Adobe Fill and Sign. So here you go. Now we have the work order, you see the signature, everything's completed and uh, that's it. So that is how you complete or finish a call and that, and that will get you the uh, time and also the work order. Please make sure that you, again, especially during these two processes, you have to make sure that that bar fills up all the way and um, that your screen is refreshed. Because if you don't, then you're going to have, then you will not send all the data to our server and you'll be missing the attached document. And if you're missing the attached document, that's definitely not a good thing. So, um, yeah, just make sure that you wait for that bar to fill up and you'll, and you'll know once it's done filling up and it's refreshed, you'll be able to see the actions and you'll see everything grayed out. And that's when you know you did it correctly. So thank you very much and drive safe.